Hello uh, and welcome to this uh, instructional video uh, to give you a few um, starting uh, uh, hints and so on regarding the uh, FASCANT assignment. So I'm just going to step through a few things to get you onto the right track. So uh, uh, we're going to start with the WBS or, or sorry, the activity list. And what I've got here is a partial activity list. Um, which is which I've created. Now notice it's not it 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 doesn't include everything. It's just partial and it's one way to organize things. So this is not the only way. So in black you can see my my work breakdown structure or at least a partial one. I had it broken down by practical assignments and then 1 2 3 and there would be more readings chapter 1 2 3 and there would be more and exams I've got the midterm. Now in red is where I've started to define activities for each work package. Now, I've taken a fairly simple approach of just having one for the practical assignments, one for the um, chapter one, and uh, two for the midterm. So again, just for example purposes to keep things uh, fairly simple. Um, so now what we do is we need to transfer to put these activities into scheduling software, which is FastCant. Now here's FastScan, it's, it's an Excel spreadsheet and you've hopefully watched the tutorial video so far. When you get in, it's gonna ask you to enable editing, which you should. Okay, so make sure that you, you click on that. Usually takes a second. It's a big spreadsheet, so it, it'll take a while on your system. So don't, don't worry. Uh, you can see it, uh, it's sort of building up. You can see the percentage increasing here. So uh, it's just doing lots of things in the background. So we'll just wait for that to open. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, so now it's opening. Uh, it often asks you at this, actually it is now, asking you to enable macros. Again, you can do that so I can verify there are no uh, malicious ma macros here. Uh, this gives you a little bit of an about and links to a few, uh, few things. You should go into the setup at this point and, and uh, for this assignment, I recommend not going with the traditional phased approach, but what I think makes more sense is to organize by deliverable. So at the high level, if we look back and we'll see, okay, practical assignments was the first one. And I recommend keeping the A there because it, it helps for sorting and so on. Um, I think readings with it was the second, I believe, and exams the third. Now the fourth closing, you, you can just leave it there. It really doesn't matter, but just to be consistent, we'll make that not applicable. So there's only three deliverables. Um, this can be activity name, you can keep that. And the, um, just trying to move things over here. The starting end date, you should think about the Friday of week one of the term. Now, week one started on January uh, 13th. So week, the end of week one was January 17th. So if we just put in here, January, oops, oh shoot, I put it into the wrong one, okay get into the rights place, January 17th, and it'll default to 2020. The only other thing we, we need to say is, are we on a seven day work week or on a five day work week? Now, given this is uh, school work, you probably work on, on uh, Saturdays and Sundays and so on. So I would recommend a seven day work week. Um, we now, so we're done here. So this is, this is set up, you should do, should do this once. Now what we do is we go into um, the schedule and you notice uh, it, um, it's um, uh, showing all of our dates here, starting from when we started the project. So uh, project name is uh, whatever you called your project. So, you know, my 8300 uh, adventure maybe is a, a name. And now what you do is you're going to, you know, it's deliverable there now is, is there as we, as we change it on the setup tab. So now what we do is say, okay, well, what is our first activity? Okay, it was submit practical uh, assignment uh, one. Okay, so let's go back and we will say which deliverable. Well, that is a um, 
practical assignment deliverable. Um, we will now put submit assignment one. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate there. Um, and um, we'll say, okay, now how much do we want to, uh, what, what is the duration? Now, this is where we're now getting into uh, scheduling. Uh, so so uh, we'll start to say, well, how long are we going to work on assignment one? Because remember, submit assignment one includes all of the work to do it. So we might say, well, that'll, that'll be over two days. Uh, assignment one happened in week two. So this is week one here. You see it there. And then um, we're going to say, well, it'll be in week two. And we'll usually we start this north towards the end of the week. So we're going to start it on January 24th. January 24th. Um, and you know, and, and then uh, you'll notice it filled in January 25th. Um, we're going to say it has been uh, not started. And then you're working on it. So let's say it's me. Now, because I'm I'm doing this uh, in the past, right? So this is today's date. So this is this is showing the past, which is why it shows up as red. Um, you know, normally if I was if this was something I was doing, and at this point in the, in the in the assignment, you're probably done that. So more accurately, you'd say it would be done. Okay. Then you just keep repeating things. You'll say. Okay, for practical assignment, um, let's see, uh, we're going to submit assignment two. Uh, assignment two was a little harder, so, or you know, <clears throat> I think that'll take a little bit more work. It will be, <clears throat> sorry, in, in uh, this week, into week three, and let's start a little earlier. Let's start at January 29th, and it also at this point is done. And so on. You just keep doing this for every um, for for every uh, um, uh, uh, activity that is over here. So all of our red ones here, we're going to plot them over here. Now, if you forget one, what's going to happen is let's say let's say we put here we we um, decided to put exams. Okay, and then so we set um, study for midterm. And we're going to study. We're going to give ourselves a couple of days to study. Now this is uh, this is this is well into the uh, the future. It's actually after we get back from study week. So it will be, let's say it's March 11th. I, I can't remember the exact date of the midterm offhand. But let's say it's March 11th. Okay, and this is uh, this is not started. This is in the future, and it's going to be you. So notice it's it's green. It's way in the future. A few weeks in the future, anyways. Now at this point, we might say, "Oh, you know, shoot, we were supposed to put uh, um, submit." Now, actually, I, I saw just saw a mistake here. So you can always update these. I just goofed there. Um, you say, oh, I'm trying to insert something. I want something in between exams and submit. Well, you can't, you you can't, um, you 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 can't insert. The, the system won't allow you. So what you do is you always just put it at the bottom. Practical assignments, uh, submit uh, assignment three. Let's say that's also two days, and that's going to be in this week here. So let's say February fourth. February 4th, uh, it is uh, started, let's just uh, click the down, it's just not working there, let's just uh, click the down arrow, okay, and there we go, and the fact that it's red, if it really is just started, it is in a red status, so that's, that's true. Now, now things are a little out of... Um, 
you know, we, we kind of want this one to be up there. So all you do is remember the sort function is control S, control S to sort. So if you press control S, it will sort it. So that, that's how you get things back into order. So don't forget about that. Now you can always say, you know, if we kind of don't like this over here, it looks kind of messy. Then we can always go back here and we could, we could edit this. So we could say, you know what, we don't have as much space as I was trying to do there. So let's, let's do that. Now, if we go back to the detail, um, we can now, we can now switch them. It doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't switch automatically, but you can kind of clean things up if, if you want. Right. So this is just, you know, if you want, want it to look a little better, you don't really have as much space there as I tried to do it originally. So uh, that's that's really it. The summary view, this this is really stretches out far to the right. The summary view looks like this. You, It's just one week per column. So it really gives you a condensed view of your schedule. And once you start to build your schedule, you're going to find that you're going to have things from here until about here so your whole term is going to fit right there and you're going to see everything that's due in the appropriate week and you're going to be able to tell if it's red it's something that's in, in big trouble if it's yellow it's uh in uh in, in sort of a warning state if it's green things are good so this will become an ongoing a good ongoing tool for you to track the progress of of your term so uh hopefully there's a bit of a help for uh doing this assignment and uh we'll uh see you uh in uh in the course